Tapping in, tapping in. How y'all doing out there? Hope all y'all is well. I'm drinking this water. You know, this water right here, as the most has said, you know, you never thirst. So I'm always coming back for more, you know, because that's how good the water is. Which that water represents that word. You know, without that word, man, we are some thirsty people out here, you know. We are in the valley of dry bones, which means, you know, that uh, a lot of people out here is rejecting the word, you know, so you don't have that nourishment that those bones need when you reject the word. Uh, so it's very important that we keep this word, you know, to the best of our ability as much as possible. As y'all can tell, I'm sitting out on the porch this morning, enjoying my coffee, and I say, why not share the word this morning? You know, happy Sabbath day to all those who's keeping the Sabbath. Um, Shalom to all my Hebrew, Israelite sisters and brothers. And, uh, yeah, so let's just go over chapter, thir uh, chapter 13 right here. And, uh, well, let's just go right here to Proverbs right quick. I mean, uh, Psalms. Well, what's that in Psalms? Uh, I forgot why I was in the songs, but um, anyway, we'll just start right here at 13 in Proverbs. It says, A wise son heareth the voice. I'm sorry, a wise son heareth his father's instructions. So It's important that a son to listen to his father, you know, and listen to what he tell you. Because as a, as a father, a father's never going to tell his son nothing wrong, you know. You're not supposed to anyway. <laughs> but um, it says a wise son hear his father's instruction. So even the Most High follow. His father instruction, which is the Almighty. They say a man should eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. So you always so if you want, you know, people are always into this, into that, drama here, drama there. And uh you like, you know, why is this person always into this? You know, why is nothing never good coming out of this person? You know, and it's because what your soul is satisfied with, you know. Your soul is satisfied with violence, with drama, you know. And um, so that's why a lot of times we, we, we hear these people and, and they and they're always in this drama, you know. It's like that's what, you know. It's like that's what they're about. That's what their life is all about. You know. They say he that keep his mouth keep it his life. But he that open wide his lips shall have destruction. So if you're out there running your mouth and rambling and rambling and just going off always into other people's business, always into drama, this is what the most high say is gonna happen. You're gonna have destruction in your life. So, stop the drama, you know what I mean? Like, don't be in all that drama out there, you know? Sometimes you just got to let that stuff go and use your wisdom. Uh, they say, uh, he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. You see? So... Sometimes it's okay to be quiet. Sometimes you just have to zip those lips up and just be quiet and just keep it moving. You know, you don't always have to go um, back and forth with the person that's being violent. Because sometimes that person just might have an evil spirit on them. And they trying to, they trying to feed off your energy. You know? 
So it's very important, y'all, that we um use wisdom. You know, don't be so quick to go off at the mouth. You know, don't be so quick to run your mouth. Listen sometimes before we speak. You know. Um. Uh, so, let's go to another verse right quick. Um. Uh, Let's go right here. Let's jump over here. It says, Every prudent man deal, dealeth with knowledge, but a fool lay open his folly. A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is health. You see, so sometimes, you know, uh, it's just good to be around people who has knowledge and wisdom sometimes, you know, not to keep company with people that's always into drama and other people business and just always into something, you know, that's not, um, that's not right. You know, so I want to share that with y'all this morning because we need the water, man. This is water to the soul. And without this water, y'all, we are in some dangerous places. Uh, so, let's go right here to... Um, let's just jump over right here to... Um, Thirty. It says, and it this Deuteronomy chapter thirty, and it says, it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse, which I have set before thee. So the Most High had already set these blessings before us and the curses. You know, He had already preordained our life on the earth, so He knows exactly what we doing and why we do it. You know, sometimes we don't understand that. But the most high understands it, you know, because he preordained our life. And it says, um, which I have set before them, and thou shalt call them to mine. So when these things, when you, so when you're, being blessed or even being cursed or going through something bad in your life, you know, you have to remember that the Most High had already preordained our life. Um, and it says, when, when I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mine among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God have driven thee, and shall return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I commanded thee this day. He say, not tomorrow. He say, this day. Thou and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul. You see, so we're supposed to be teaching our children, children, how to obey the voice of the Most High. You know, because, like I always say, we have to have that fear of the most high and when you fear the most high then that's when he give you understanding knowledge and the wisdom and he starts to reveal more things to you as you read through the scriptures so i just want to share that with you guys this morning thank y'all for watching liking subscribing and sharing i'll be back with the next one peace